Scotland's longest serving First Minister. And over the last year, we've had major developments in Operation Branch Form, the WhatsApp scandal. What would you say her positive legacy is, other than all the elections that she won and her longevity as First Minister? I think actually from a woman's point of view, she has achieved a lot as a woman that many other people would think, particularly when she started in politics, I imagine it would have been very, very difficult. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at the picture we've got up there. You know, I think she has done a lot for women in politics and encouraging women to go into politics. I'm not saying that, you know, women considering going into politics now would particularly want to be subject to the same type of treatment as Nicola Sturgeon is, um, you know, and and the same level of scrutiny, I suppose, because she's clearly uncomfortable with that. But I do think that she's kind of set an example for women who are maybe considering a career in politics. So that 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 would be my main one, I think. Doesn't it sound like a massive um, sort of policy portfolio of achievements? Well, no, but I mean, we've talked about this so many times. Um, I can't point to, I don't know, Dougie, what do you think? Am I being unfair? Uh, well, I, I mean, obviously, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't I don't think she's got much positive um, uh, legacy at all. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to defer to Hannah because obviously it's not only for me to comment on what impact she's had on Scotland's women. I don't think that'd be fair. Um, but uh, she set out, or she claimed her, uh, you know, if, um, if you look at what her goals were, um, bridging the poverty gap, failure, education, failed, no NDRF2, you know, failed. Uh, it, her legacy is, is constant failure.